Hey there, welcome to another episode of Dad Chats with Matt. <laughs> Today I'm uh, talking to Josh. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. So Josh, firstly, are you a dad? I am, yeah. Tick. Okay, we can continue <laughs> with this with this interview. Yeah. Ha- well, tell me about your kids. Uh, I have a four-year-old. Her name's Lennon. Yeah. Uh, like John Lennon, but not after right. John Lennon. But it's really cute. That's how she introduces herself. Nice. Uh, does she know John Lennon? Or she does it, not, yeah. no. I should probably introduce her to some of the music. Yeah. 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 You've got to pick your era of Beatles that you want to yeah, introduce yeah. her to. Yeah. yeah. So four-year-old and then another kid on the way due April 2nd. Congratulations. Hoping for April 1st. Oh, yeah, April true. Fool's birthday. True. But We'll see. I yeah. think it's funny. My wife does it <laughs> find it as funny. It's, yeah. It's the story of my life. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, Josh, yeah. tell me a bit about uh, your business, about yourself. Um, would you yeah. like to learn some more? Yeah. So currently, um, I'm an entrepreneur and sort of freelance creative director. So work with a handful of different brands, primarily kind of in the e-commerce space, lifestyle brands, a lot of companies in the apparel world. So yeah, do a lot of brand strategy, creative direction, also a photographer as well. So nice. work a lot of brands behind the camera, in front of the camera as well. I'm sure play this personality role, if you will, with yep. different brands. So it's it's not full model, you know, GQ status, but it's, I find myself in front of the camera a lot with different brands. And then, so yeah, that's like the consulting side of things. Yep. And then I'm also working on a whole new dad brand called Super Field Trip, which right. we can talk about. I would love more. to talk yeah. about that. Tell, tell me about, about that. Yeah, so Super Field Trip, we, my co-founder, Travis Nagel, and I, we, maybe a couple of years ago, we both, he became a dad a little bit after myself, but we both are in the creative space, work with all sorts of brands. And I found myself just realizing that there wasn't a brand for dads that was tasteful and just kind of really aligned, not, not just aesthetics, but value wise and was deeper than just a, a hoodie or a hat that just said girl dad, right? Mm-hmm. Like not trying to knock on those products. I think a lot of dads love it. It's yep. a fun way to signal who you are and you're yep. a girl dad or boy dad, whatever it is. But I just saw this opportunity to go deeper than, than that, right? And the kind of the cliche products that, that you find out there. And so we started thinking about, uh, we had no name at first. We were yep. just wanted to create a brand that created products to help dads live a more present and active lifestyle with the kids in their lives. Awesome. And for us, it was also important to create a brand that wasn't just for dads, but also for father figures. Mm-hmm. So as we talk about things and as we build out the whole brand, representing father figures is really important for us, yeah. like uncles and mentors, older brothers who might take that role of a father figure. And so I think it's important that we honor kind of all father figures, yeah, not just like biological dads, right? That's, um, that's cool. That's really important. I'm yeah. Sure. And that's... so, you know, we always call that out and everything we're doing. So yeah, we haven't formally launched yet. Right now we're very much just kind of listening to the customer and building community, which has nice. been a really special part at the moment. Nice. Yeah. And so are you thinking like with your apparel background, this is clothing, this is, you know, f- yeah. that sort of mainly thing there or accessories, yeah. something to do with. Yeah. So we'll have life? access, we'll have apparel and accessories. Yeah. We are actually, our hero product that we launch with will be sort of this home good accessory product that I don't want to give away too much just yet, no, but I, like uh, I think it's a really special product. And like I yeah. said, it's what we're focused on with that product is this idea of like the rite of passage with kids and this idea of creating milestones with them and mm-hmm. helping dads be more present through those milestones and creating activities and all that. So yeah. it'll be a home good product. That's our hero product, but we yeah. will launch with a collection, a different collections of products uh, that are apparel focused as well. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a lot. It's, yeah, it's, it's a lot. Either. Yeah. You know, yeah. and as we thought through it, it's like, is this a meet for us? Like our mission is empowering dads and yeah. father figures mm-hmm. and, there's so many ways to do that. Is this a media company? Is it a physical goods yep. consumer company? Uh, like what exactly is it? And and we went through sort of different paths, you know, and roadmap that. And we, for me, I think it was important that we exist both in the physical world and digital. And so yep. while media and community, digital community will be a big part of everything we do, yep. it was important that we create physical products. That's cool. And I like that yeah. you're, so my chips are getting in the way. I like that you're building both of those at the same time. Often it's yeah. you create a physical product, and then you try and build the community around it, or yeah. you have the community, and then you're like, well, how do I monetize this into a product or something like that? Yeah. So you're sort yeah. of doing both of those things at the same time. Yeah. And, you know, we've explored so many different paths, and what 
what's beautiful right now is just the organic community. Yeah. We, my friend Elliot and I, we started, I invited him and a, another dad over one night. And it just, it's one of those kind of evenings where we got together around like eight, nine o'clock and it yeah. was 2 a.m. And we're like, where did the time wow. go? It's crazy. And we started inviting other dads. And by now we have some nights we can have like 20 guys, 20 dads come together and yeah. We, we even have some dads who are like aspirational yep. dads who just have either questions or are trying to spend more time with yep. dads because they're thinking about, you know, taking that sort of next step in life and yep. whatnot. So, yeah, the organic community has just been super powerful and it's just showed us like dads are craving this. Dads, yep. you know, I think a lot of times I'm actually working on some content that's all about like the art of inviting dads, other dads into kind of your life, your rhythms, all that. Cause yeah. I'm sure you've met dads at a park and you connect really quick, but then like taking that other step yep. to inviting dads into events or whatever it might be. Right. Yeah. I think, I don't know if it's a guy thing, but it comes a little less natural sure. for dads. And so working on sort of the art of inviting yeah. dads into your life, the art of hosting an event, like yeah. it can be intimidating and be like, what do I do now? I'm going to invite like 20 dads over my house. Yeah. What, yeah. what do we do? What do we talk about? And yeah. so, yeah, I think there's something that special that we're creating on the content side, just helping dads. And then also on the product side. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. I like, I like that. And obviously what you're creating is these early stages and, you know, it's, it's pulling together various things like that. Yeah. How do you explain to, to your daughter yeah. of what you do for a job or how, how do you sort yeah. of on that side of things? Yeah. Is that? I think it's twofold because like I said, I have this sort of consulting mm -hmm. creative path to my career at the moment. And then I'm also, I've been an entrepreneur before I started some lifestyle brands in an agency and now I'm starting another company as well. And so I think explaining to her, there's sort of twofold or it's like multifaceted, right? I think on the consulting side of things and photography and, and modeling, I actually find sort of the personality modeling thing a bit of the easiest because right. she sees me like... Yeah. I showed her this magazine the other day where I was really uh, privileged to have like the front cover nice. and some, I was in, in the magazine, some pages inside. And so showing her like very tangibly, yeah. she's like, oh, there's dad. And yeah. she's starting model. to understand like money and how right. things work. Like dad goes to work and that lets him provide. Or yep. she's starting to, so, you know, I'm explaining to her like this photo bought us dinner, yep. <laughs> you know, yeah. little yeah. things, but yeah. she sees me in a photo and that, that's really tangible or she yep. sees me in a film or whatnot. And then on the photography side, kind of same thing. I'll, I'll hand her my camera and, yeah. you know, she'll take some photos or she has like a little camera and I explain nice. to her, like I take photos of brands or products or people. Right. And, and that's work. Yep. She's starting yep. to get it. The consulting stuff. She's kind of like strategy. What? <laughs> but it is really cool. We actually did. I find the best way to explain to her is to involve her yep. or to do similar things. We did a lemonade stand nice. uh, when it was still warm out here in Colorado. And it was really cool. She overcharged for her lemonade, <laughs> but it was like freshly squeezed and yep. lemons from Whole Foods and the whole sure. thing. Right. But I tried to explain to her on strategy, right. Hey, when someone comes up, ask them about their day, yep. you know, talk to them, engage them, make, make the moment special. And you might, your tips might go up or, yeah, right. You know, if you're going to charge a premium, like it's got to be a premium product, not just the lemonade, but the experience. Yep. And, yep. That's, and cool. that's kind of what dad does, right? Yeah. I, you can sell lemonade and it could be, you know, sort of a standard product or you can go premium and, you know, the yeah. experience and all these things and yeah. the signage, all these <laughs> things matter. And that's how you can charge more or whatnot. So and so you went through the four P's with her. And yeah. Marketing. Yeah. <laughs> so you start explaining and she's yep. like, Oh, you know, I remember she got like this one tip that was like $2 tip yeah, or something. Nice. And she was like, oh, this is awesome. I was like, yeah, you see if you ask people, yeah. about, you know. So, yeah, I think there's, I try and involve her. Like she, sometimes she'll bring me snacks in my home office. When yeah. I work from home, she'll like come and bring me snacks. And if I'm typing away at an email, I'll be like, hey, do you want to help me type an email? This one's super important. And nice. I'll turn off the keyboard so it doesn't actually <laughs> type. And she'll sit there and start typing with me. Yeah. And yeah. it's really cool because she'll, she feels like she's a part of it and, you know, use those as like little coaching moments. And so, yeah, yeah I think involving them in your actual work somehow, or uh, I was packing up for this production that we just did. And, you know, it, it could be as simple as like, hey, help me make sure I'm, you know, getting everything I need for yeah. the production. So yeah. little by little, she's getting a hang of it. But yeah, yeah 
I'm in such a multifaceted career that yeah. it's not just like dad's a doctor yeah. and I fix people. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you've got a cool though, Joe. Like I'm a model. I take photos or whatever. My kids are yeah. like, eh, you sell chips, dad. This isn't serious. No, no. <laughs> sort of I bet like, they think it's cool when you get it, yeah. when they go to a store and you know, they see the chips. They like the that part of it yeah. for sure. They like the taste testing. They like to oh, eat that's the cool. chips. So that, that's yeah. probably the main part that they care yeah. about. The rest is like, <laughs> this isn't a real job. You sell chips, you dad. Sell like, chips. Yeah. yeah. Go, go to an office and do a proper job, but there you go. That's, cool. That's awesome. As us. Now, what about like, you know, obviously we tie our work and you mentioned about providing and things yeah. like that for the family and the job tied into that. How do you handle that that risk side of things? Right? Like part of a, a dad and you mentioned there is obviously we often share that that role with our partner around providing for our kids, but yeah. it's a big part, right? It's a big yeah. part of who we are as, as men and, and providers is, this is it. And then you balance that with the risk of, of starting a business, of doing multiple yeah. different things. How, how do you sort of work through that as, as a dad and as starting a business? Yeah, yeah. I think with, with risk for me, what's been most helpful is surrounding myself with mentors who have sort of been there, done that, especially mentors in my industry, whether it's lifestyle brands or e-commerce or agency founders or individuals and just surrounding myself with mentors. And you know, like Alex from Good Crisp, she's very much been a really great example for me and a mentor. And so I think that's been so important because a lot of times as an entrepreneur, even if you're a freelancer, full entrepreneur with, you know, a, a company, whatever it might be, even if you're just trying to grow and, and you work somewhere, a nine to five job traditionally, if you will, I think just having mentors is so important, right? Because yeah. especially as an entrepreneur, the risk is so, it feels so daunting. And one of my mentors, he's 20 years older than me, almost to, to the day, a couple months. Right. And so he's, he's got a kid. He's been there where he's, you know, floating the company on credit cards in the early days. And, you know, I think as an entrepreneur, you wake up some days and you're like, I'm going to lose it all. Mm -hmm. Or I just made the biggest mistake of my life. Or you're your worst critic, right? And you're in your head. But when you have a mentor who can tell you, hey, that mistake is, you can overcome that. Sure. Or this obstacle, like it could be a fulfillment or an operational disaster. And they're like, here's how you can navigate that. No. And so I think surrounding yourself with mentors is so important. And, and also for like your mental health, if you're not able to talk to someone else, and it could be a formal coach, a therapist, whatever, but basically involving other people and yeah. not doing it on your own. Like as an entrepreneur, you should never try and be the lone ranger because yep. you'll just destroy yourself. And you'll probably destroy the company, honestly. I think even the entrepreneurs, we probably all think did it by themselves. They never did do yeah. it by themselves. It's, yeah. you know, the, the people that surrounded them, who got them to where they are. And yeah. sometimes those people never see the spotlight, but they're really the backbone behind everything. And, yeah. you know, I got to meet some of your team members and you've definitely surrounded yourself with some amazing people. So, oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think mentors is kind of mentors and, and the people you choose to involve in what you're doing and sometimes it's advisors or yeah. you know an advisory board and and whatnot so yeah. different scale of the business it looks different but i think always having at least a one-on-one -on -one kind of mentorship yeah and it could even be informal but just someone yeah. who you can talk to right 100 percent, i agree like you, sh you share that risk a little bit as well yeah. and as you say being being an entrepreneur entrepreneur to start yes yeah. you're in you're in your head yeah. a lot and being able to get that out of your head and chat yeah. it through it looks very different and i think you know for me too what's important like this one mentor of mine mark he he knows my wife really well and my family and so i do think it's important that you because sometimes there's business mentors who mm -hmm. know your business inside and out but having a mentor to who also knows your personal life at least a little bit so they yeah. can you know help sort of be an outlet in those hard moments and and all that so yeah, yeah. No, that's that's cool i like it yeah. so then in your so the last question for you i think you, you've obviously got this community of dads you're catching up with 20 dads yeah what what's what's one or two of the main things that seem to come up from from dads that, that you're seeing either questions or concerns or things yeah. like that from your community yeah i think for a lot of dads finding like the outlet to connect to one another you know like finding a natural way to connect seems yeah. to be a bit of a pain point there's like a like, loneliness there yeah element yeah, looking to overcome yeah they're looking to overcome loneliness or just creating habits of community right because mm -hmm. you get busy with work and kids and once you have more than one kid it just gets yep. time goes away fast right and i think 
creating rhythms of community uh, yeah. seems to be a challenge and something we all talk about a lot, but also just like I was talking about, I'm working on this piece, sort of the art of inviting yeah. dads, yeah. like as a dad, inviting other dads into a space or into an event or whatever it might be. But yeah, I think there's dads are craving community and they're looking for a kind of natural way to get involved. But it seems to be more challenging than I thought it was, right. you know, and I'm definitely an outgoing person. So I might be an outlier. You know, yeah. I can throw me in a room of a bunch of strangers and I'll make best friends. But yeah. that's not most dads. Yeah, that's cool. And you're building something to sort of help in that area. And yeah, so that's, that's yeah. cool. I'm excited to uh, learn more as it, it starts to get ready yeah, to launch. Um, so I'm excited about that. Yeah. Okay. So the final thing we're famous for is is dad jokes, of course. Okay. It's the one thing we're, we've yeah. got. So. Uh, I wrote what, it down. What so have you I'm got for forget. us? Okay, here we go. Why did the golfer bring two pairs of pants? I don't know why. In case he got a hole in one. <laughs> hey, that's a, <laughs> it's a sed, quintessential dad joke. There you I go. love it. Well, yeah, well done. Simple, simple, <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. Well, appreciate it, Josh. Thank you yeah, so much for, for coming and sitting down and, yeah. and talking with us. I'm really excited, as I said, to to learn more and see. And thanks for everything you're doing as well for dads, right? Like yeah. building this community and, and being another sort of person to help connect us all. It's, yeah. it's really awesome. So oh, I appreciate it. Thank you it. for making a great product. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs>